Hi guys and welcome to our next video from Flying Raven Studios. This week we're going to look back at some Necromunda stuff. So one of the things that you want to get right with Necromunda is skin. There's loads of it. All the models have skin on show and it's one of the techniques that if you get it wrong it looks terrible but if you get it right it looks amazing. So stick with us and see how we do it. See you after this. So let's have a look and see what we've got. Uh, this is going to be a video all based on a Goliath stimmer and the flesh tones that we can get and the skin tones and the depth that we can get through that. So as you can see I've undercoated it in a grey primer and now we're going to move on to actually putting some flesh tones into it. So to start with we're going to start with a 50% Cadian flesh and a 50% wraith bone mix. It kind of gives that nice light look to the skin tone um, which is what you want to start with at this point so this is just kind of the first coat it's almost like your base that you want to start with so you need to make sure that you get a good coating on this now the best idea for this is to make sure your paint is nicely watered so that you've got a good consistency and that it is smooth when it goes on you don't want claggy paint at all you want a nice kind of watery consistency and it will mean that you need to do a, a probably two to three coats over the model. The gray prime underneath helps not have to do too many, but you'll still want to do at least two, potentially three. That will then give you a nice smooth finish to the skin tones that you can then go into the, the more detail and work further with. So there you go, that's the first coat. As you can see, I've put an extra couple of coats on just off of camera. You didn't need to see me sit there and do all of that. But it's given it a real nice, consistent colouring all the way across the model. So now we get to work on the more detailed stuff. So the next step is a 7525 of, again, the, the Cadian and the, the Wraithbone. But what you're aiming to do is you now start wanting to build into the recesses. So opposed to in traditional ways of painting skin, you start with the darker colours and work your way up. This one's slightly different. What you do is you start with the lighter colours and then gradually blend in the dark colours into the recess. So you're picking out the, the muscle structures and the, the face, the cheeks, the, all of those kind of details in that. Next we then move on to 100% Cadian flesh tone and this is getting really quite deep into the recesses. This gives the muscles the shadow and shade that you're looking for to make the sections that you'd painted to start with really stand out and the, the highlighted areas to really pop. It's kind of a strange way of doing it but once you finish with the results they look fantastic. As you can see, it's already coming together and you can see decent definition of those muscle structures. So the next bit is to put a bit of tone to the skin and it's to use some Tuscan fur and Cadian flesh tone and that's a 50-50 mix. This means that it gives that skin the the look that it has blood running through it. Uh, the flesh tone is quite a light colour, but with the Tuscan fur and the flesh tone mix, when you're putting them in the very, very defined sections of the recesses of the muscles, it just means that it gives it that the skin, the warmer look, which is what you're looking for again, obviously in a, a living human. If you were doing this for a zombie or something like that, you would be looking for a greens. So you carry on with the Tuscan fur, making sure that you're picking up all of the details. You want to get these into the real, real deep recesses because it really does complement the highlighted sections that you've done before. And as you can see, 
that has made those muscles look really defined. It's given tones to the skin that you're looking for and it makes them look really healthy. So the next section is we're gonna start putting in a bit of detail to the head. Now, this is with black grey and Cadian flesh tone, and we're gonna be working on giving him a stubbled effect to both the hairline and around his beard. This can take a little bit of a while and you have to be a little bit more detailed, but again, it's still using the flesh tone right from the very beginning, which has been the consistent color tone throughout the whole entire of this work. This is a stippling effect, so you just wanna make sure that you're not damaging your brushes. So just do it gently and slowly build it up. And do exactly the same around the beard and you will end up with a fantastic looking model. And here it is. So now you've seen how I do skin. Again, it's a pretty simple kind of little technique but instead of starting from dark and moving to light, you start from light and move to dark in the recesses. With a little bit of blending, with a little bit of special techniques that you can pick up very, very easily, you can get some really, really nice looking skin. And remember as always, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, ping the bell, and stay in contact with us. We've got loads of other videos coming up and you don't wanna miss out. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, until next time, stay safe.